So a big layout of my page that drew the most attention was that uh, historically in the past, I've uh, said some very critical things about um, white people. And it's from my experience and the experience of many other black Americans that it is almost impossible to be a black individual growing up in America and learning about slavery and history and the atrocities committed against black people to not at some point be critical of white people. However, nowadays, um, I have somewhat shifted my point of view and brought in my perspective where I don't feel as though it's appropriate to condemn white people nowadays for things that happened back then. Furthermore, I do blame slavery and segregation and Jim Crow for why black people are in the position that they are in now. Simultaneously, I can also be critical enough of my own people to determine that the only reason why black people are still in this position is solely due to the collective inability or unwillingness to get out of this situation. And it takes a very, I know it's, it might sound Coonish or Uncle Tomish, but it takes a very strong black man to be able to highlight the wrongs of his people. Um, I'm not going to be used as uh, any type of spokesperson or puppet for the deconstruction of my people. So this isn't me coming out and saying, oh, well, um, white people are the best and we're doing so bad. This isn't what I'm trying to do. Um, in actuality, I'm trying to achieve the opposite of, of any type of uh, inferiority or superiority being placed on one another. It is all about the deeds of the individual, not even so much the culture as a lot of people say, because they say it's the culture. You can be brought up in a certain culture and, and shy away from it, or you can have different perspectives of how you identify yourself with that culture. So it's all about the individual at the end of the day, because from a cultural standpoint, if you want to look at it from a religious standpoint, uh, you have had Christians that have historically committed atrocities and you have com uh, Christians that follow the book by the book. Same thing with Muslims, uh, practitioners of, I of the religion of Islam, uh, many people who have done voodoo have used it for good or bad. So it's all up to the individual, regardless of how you're brought up. If you're brought up in a single family home or a two or a single parent home or having both parents, you could still be either bad or good. If you're white, you can be bad or good. If you're tall, short, black, brown, yellow, turquoise, it doesn't really matter what your circumstances are. You could have had a traumatic thing happen to you and you can either take out your frustrations on the world or you can try to do whatever you can to become stronger from it and not let it bring you down. It's all about how you respond to what you go through in life. So it's not about what you go through in life. It's about how you deal with those circumstances being presented to you in that lifetime. So if somebody steps on your foot, you can feel justified for uh, attacking this individual. But another person will acknowledge that it was a mistake and say, oh, pardon me. And you guys can both apologize to each other for that miscommunication and walk in the opposite direction. It's too often that a lot of uh, individuals will be um, emotionally unintelligent and, and create a big problem out of nothing. And um, not to veer off topic too much, uh, just, just to quickly summarize everything, I don't want to make the layout of my page um, founded on uh, demonizing any group because I've come to the point where I have acknowledged that black people were very, very involved in the deconstruction of black people. Um, arguably the greatest Native American civilization that has ever lived, the Mexica, um, the Aztec society. It was only conquered in two years by African and European Spanish conquistadors. And why? It's because of the participation from other natives. Uh, you had other Native American tribes, the Lajota against the Pawnee, the Comanche that were going around doing things. You had whites that stood up for black people and even died during the civil rights era because they were marching alongside civil rights leaders, like literally getting assassinated for black people, standing up for our rights here. You had black people that were going through slavery and they still invented things and still tried to 
combat the oppressive powers that be and revolutionize the world. You have um, black people that fought in every major American war from the Civil all the way to World War II. You know, uh, Native Americans fought in the wars as well, the Navajo Code Talkers. So it's more of a mindset because historically it wasn't a race thing up until really the 17 and 1800s. But before that, uh, you had many alliances racially and once we can start to see as uh, human beings the collective things that we have in common we will start to really come to a point where we acknowledge how insignificant color is and how immaterial these things are and once we do that we can start to come to a point in time where we can live together I still believe in the idea of not racial separate uh, segregation, but racial separation, at least temporarily until black people can get on the right track. Because one, any any time we will integrate with other people, any time we are successful, I believe personally that it'll be attributed to that integration. Um, and we won't get a fair shake and we won't be able to get full acknowledgement of our, of our actions and our success if we, all of a sudden live amongst white people and now we're successful like we've seen this happen many times where our achievements were overshadowed because we've lived lived amongst white people so i believe if we can identify ourselves with a strong work ethic a strong sense of cultural roots um whether you're christian muslim whatever you practice as long as you believe in treating people with respect and kindness having humility having a good strong work ethic um, pursuing education however you see education uh, to be expressed by yourself whether it be math science literature astronomy and trying to contribute something to the society that precipitated you and identifying all the things that we need to have in common with each other every major war has always been because of the lack of acknowledgement of things that we have in common uh, from a colonial standpoint I'm talking about and um, you know when there was slavery and indentured servitude in Europe they were all white but they were enslaving each other you know <clears throat> when they were burning each other and you know doing all these things the Salem witch, witch trial you know uh, it wasn't until slavery where white people started to realize what they had in common. And that's why they became more powerful because they identified themselves under a white banner. And um, I don't believe in unifying ourselves for an oppressive purpose, but I'm more just giving an example of how much stronger certain nations have become when they started to identify things that they had in common. And this was something consistent with Pan-Africanists, black people who saw all black people as black, uh, Native Americans who unified under one indigenous Turtle Islander banner. And um, if you look at things from a historical standpoint, perhaps if the Lakota and the Pawnee, they saw each other as one, there wouldn't have been so many problems. If blacks didn't see each other as uh, Ashanti or uh, Dahomey against Yoruba, perhaps the slave trade wouldn't have happened. So these are things that I'm highlighting that the deconstruction of societies and the decline of populations of people have always been mostly because of the lack of acknowledgement of the things we have in common. And from a psychological standpoint, uh, increasing your intra and interpersonal intelligence is the only surefire way to uh, declare or rather uh, ensure that success will be reached by us if we can realize what we have in common and uh, put aside our racial and color differences. I think we can achieve a lot of things together, but every time we engage in arguments, uh, putting one against the other on the basis of race or color, um, we start to really blind ourselves from the important aspects of what constitutes us as uh, human beings.